You could have a really expensive, terrible bottle of wine. Who needs that? If you stop believing, we're meant to be expanding our ability. All right, everybody, welcome back. It's time to catch a buzz with your cuz. I have my shirt on here. Two points for whoever knows what this type of shirt is called. Looking it up, looking it up. Ampersand. This is the ampersand, and that's how the shirt got its name. With that out of the way, we hope that you uh, have had a good week so far. Make sure that you comment below. Let us know how you're doing. I have a feeling this video is gonna make you feel a lot better, one way or the other. And, uh, oh yeah, absolutely. Please do subscribe to the channel. You see the button over there, it's free, you guys know it. And give it a thumbs up. Keep us making videos, right? Let us know that uh, this is good content. So what are we talking about today? We are going back to Washington State. Now, some time ago, almost a year or more, depending on when you're watching this, we went to the oldest winery in Washington State, and uh, that was called Chateau Saint Michel. Now, we covered a Merlot last time. We really wanted to get our hands on a Cabernet, and we've done that. Now, uh, Chateau uh, Saint Michel, just to catch you up really quickly, uh, 100 acres of land, multiple vineyards. You know, they broke ground in, in 1912, but they weren't really ready to start, um, you know, making wines until the uh, repeal of Prohibition. And then in, in 1967, they rebranded re themselves, restarted, and, uh, and that's where they kind of pick up their history is Chateau Saint Michel. And uh, over the years, they've evolved with a lot more vineyards. And I think they have like 50 plus years now, of course, of winemaking ex experience. They still really highlight the, the old world. Check that out, Chateau Saint Michel. Um, so they highlight a lot of old world, um, you know, techniques and traditions, but they use new technologies today. So they have uh, actually two locations for, for uh, making wine. They have one for red and one for white. Um, I believe the, the whites are actually made at the official Chateau St. Michel location. And I'm using this type of uh, wine opener here because it's super easy for videos. You know, you guys have seen me do this before. You know, you can actually do this with one hand. Perfect. No problems at all, just like I expect from this wine. So uh, this is a 2018 Cabernet, which is great news because it was a great year for winemaking in Washington in 2018. There was warm springs, warm falls. They allowed those grapes to stay on the, on the vine and get really intense flavor. And uh, also again here, I don't know if you could read that. I don't know if you guys need glasses or if this camera is doing the, what it's supposed to be doing. Indian Wells. Indian Wells is their best expression of their grapes, in my opinion, at an affordable price. And they pull those grapes from multiple different vineyards that they work with or that they own, and it costs just a few dollars more. So this bottle is just $15 um, locally, maybe a little bit more or less or, uh, by you. So you'll have to check it out and see. But let's give it a quick pour. Well, of course, I have my Riedel wine glass for the red varietal. Highly recommend to match your glassware with what you're drinking. There we go. Chug, chug, chug. It's the sound the bottle makes, not what you're supposed to be doing at this point. So we look at it first, right? Looks very dark. Whew. Nice, nice fruit scent aroma coming out of it. And we just opened it. I'm gonna give it a little swirl here. Well, this is pretty dangerous on camera. Just to get it aerated. It's really opening up well. Now this is aged 19 months in American and French oak. So you're gonna have to give it a little bit to breathe out of the bottle, 2018, we're at least three years in, this is perfect. Wow, $15, you gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna take this third sip. That's gonna give me the really true taste of this. Because right now I'm getting quite a few things out of it, which is very exciting. Here we go. The truth. 
in Dino Veritas. That is a rich, full flavor. It's, a, it's almost lush. This tastes well above a $15 bottle. Um, I would put this side by side with a bottle two or three times as expensive as this, and it's gonna hold its own. If this is a really fresh bottle, I can tell. It hasn't been uh, damaged by heat or by sun and chipping, which is always a good thing. But you get this, um, this aroma of like a fresh fruit and you can taste blackberry, maybe a little bit of cherry, and then it gets balanced out with a very, very subtle hint of vanilla. This is perfect for a steak. This is perfect for a barbecue. I would toast glasses here. This is a buzz with your cousin if I've ever seen one. This is an extreme value bottle. And by value, I mean good wine at a great price or great wine at a good price. That's, that's where they kind of cross over. You could have a really expensive, terrible bottle of wine. Who needs that? Or you could have a, a terrible wine that's cheap and at least you'll know what to expect. This, this is outperforming. This is well above the curve. I am uh, highly impressed with this. Uh, one other note, you know, you can still visit this vineyard. They are still open at the Chateau of St. Michel. Um, as it is now, you know, coming in and out of all the, you know, the craziness, uh, we do recommend that you make reservations. They are open daily, 11 to five in Washington State. Fridays and Saturdays, you get two bonus hours. They close at seven, five plus two, seven. That's another dad's dish reference for you. He knows what I'm talking about. So with this, I need to go get my steak on the grill. I do not want to waste another moment with this glass not being consumed at the rate that it deserves to be. So we look forward to seeing you next week. Please don't forget, thumbs up. We hope that we've earned your subscription. We'll see you next week. Monday, we will have something tasty. Maybe it goes with this, maybe it doesn't. You'll have to wait and see. Until next time, catch a buzz with your cuz, subscribe, comment, share. This is for everybody. See you next time.